Session two, here we've got our repeat speed session and it's power, uh, teamed up with our power session in the gym. Let's get straight into it. So two minutes of an easy jog, four minutes of mobility, particularly around the calves and hamstrings or whatever's pulled up tight or domsy from Monday session. Then we've got a, a basic field warm up, So like you would do in a group session at the club, um, get in some ground-based mobility activation work. So like your, your um, uh, back mobs, uh, hamstring, three-way hamstring, and some activation work through the glutes as well. And then just some progressive strides to prepare you for the speed later on in the session. Then we've got some further mobility activation session just to flush the legs, get the body feeling really good. And then with accelerations with the footy. So have one person kick and then another person leading and try and change up your leading patterns as much as you can. So you're getting in, um, you focus on your first three steps, building up to speed and, and marking the ball, as well as doing some dummy leads back and forth, like shuttle-like efforts. Then we're, in, into the, we're gonna start the session with a repeat speed. So we should get some high speeds here. And we're going for a bit longer distances than we've done in the past for a repeat speed. So some 150s where we'll, we'll go um, two sets of five, aiming for 22 second reps, 25 or 27. So focus on your first three steps, accelerate out of the gate and hold about 80% of your max speed for those 150s. Then I don't know why it's showing repeat speed here. It should be shuttles. So I'll edit that. Um, so you'll see some shuttles, some 20 meter shuttles, 10 meters out, 10 meters back. And then we've got some 10 meter accelerations where we're at least two reps, you're going at max intensity. So focusing on that really hard out the gate, first 10 meters. They're not getting max speed like we did on Monday, but you, you're trying to get to speed quickly over a short distance. Then we've got our aerobic work with shorter recovery efforts than we've done in the past. So three 300 meter efforts, uh, that 40 seconds recovery, then 200, then four 200 meters efforts at 30 second recovery, and then five 150s at 15 seconds recovery. So close to half the rest period. So this is where you want to focus on your breathing, uh, make sure you're moving really efficiently. Uh, obviously, if you're leaking energy, you're going to be exposed here. Your, your heart rate will get too high and it'll be hard to sustain. So for those that move really efficiently and, and focus on that in the feel good aerobic sessions, this should transfer well to your fatigue-based running here. Then we're into the upper body power session. Thanks, guys. Make sure to reach out if you have any questions.